I am going through like the most frustrating thing in the entire world right now, but you wouldn't know it because I just can't stop smiling ever. So I, I just had a doctor's appointment and I parked in their parking garage and uh, everything's fine, thanks for asking. But I, I parked in their parking garage and uh, upon coming out, they're like, it's 10 bucks. I was like, great. And they're like, oh no, sorry, we only take cash or a check. First of all, who uses checks anymore? Nobody. Unless you're paying your roommate for like your share of the rent. But nobody like carries checks with them. And normally cash would be fine, but I don't have any cash on me. And my debit card was just canceled because there were some fraudulent charges on it. So I'm in like that five day waiting period between when my card is canceled and when the new card comes. So I can't even take money at an ATM right now. There's no Bank of America anywhere near here. And I can't find a, a, a restaurant or a store that'll give me cash back on a credit card. So I'm stuck in this really shitty situation where my car is being held hostage at this parking garage. Um, and it's parking plus ink. But like what kind of yesterday technology doesn't take a credit card? It doesn't take a credit card. They certainly don't take Google Wallet that Brett was raving about the other day. So anyway, here's how I'm getting out of this. Chris Thompson, Sup Ricky 06 is I'm, I'm like relatively close to his apartment. I called him and he, he gathered cash from his roommates and he's driving me $10 in cash so I can get my car back. But this is like unacceptable, first of all. I almost wanna go get that guy on camera and just be like, you suck. David E. Lopez, I'm just gonna shout out this phone number if you guys wanna call and uh, just say how absurd it is and how they need to get with it. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying if you feel so enraged by this, you can. But 310-828-1645, and it's called Parking Plus Inc. And the guy is David E. Lopez, he's gonna be in tomorrow. But this has been a huge burden on my day. I've been trying to take care of this for like an hour now, and normally it's like when you get out of a parking garage, you put in your credit card or you, you know, debit card or whatever it is and you get out. And I've never heard of a parking garage that you can't pay with a credit card before. Or much less that, like that they even take checks. I'm gonna start taking checks, you guys. Screw PayPal, screw Google Wallet. If you guys ever wanna send me money, I only take it in check form. Make it out to Ross Everett, and my address isn't anywhere on the internet. So just like put, fold it into a, a paper airplane and toss it into the wind. It'll make its way to me. Someone will find its way to me. All right. I vented. Healthy, 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 it's healthy, it's good, it's healthy, it's good, and that guy is honking now. Hold on, I'm gonna just go warn people that if they're going in here that you have to have a check or you have to have a debit card or cash to get out of here. Not even a debit card. A debit card I can understand because people have debit cards, but saying cash or a check. No cards whatsoever. It's freaking 1987.